Okay, we're back. I got it. this part felted, and you can feel the a little bit of lift up, but you're you can feel that your wool is soft felted at this point. You don't want it hard felted, just soft felted. And I didn't give the fins and the tail and the la la fin too much attention. This one, yes, I did do that one, but we're going to add to those. So now you're just going to flip that puppy over. It's a dogfish, don't you know? All right. So I'm going to borrow this for this side. I'm going to make my eye. Remember we did the eye on the other side? Lightly wrap it around. Don't add any twist. And then you can whoop, figure out, okay, right there. That's about right. Try not to get too carried away with having this be totally perfect and everything totally symmetrical. None of this is perfect. So just keep that in mind and have a good time. And besides, if this is your first one, it shouldn't be perfect. You'll tick me off if yours is perfect and mine isn't. All right. So, all right. So here's, here we go with this bit. bit. We're going to lay it down here. I might add just a touch more there. I like big fins and I cannot lie. All right. So now we're going to bring this part up and whoop, doo -doo -doo -doo. now there's our fin there. And for these others, we're going to lay, not this one, this one will just grab a hunk and lay it here because it's, it's small. It doesn't need reinforcement. But these others, because they're wide, we want to take a little thin wisp and lay it across. Bring this down a little so you don't incorporate it in your tail. All right, all right. So now here, we're going to lay this across and we're just going to tap it down get it wet you don't want to get it damp you want to get it wet you want to get it right down in there that way it won't stick to your fingers then you don't need all the folder all everybody has all the little covers and all that stuff you don't need all that that just complicates things i don't like complicated things all right so now we're going to lay a bit here lay a bit here do this here See how I brought this up to over the, the bum bum end, okay? Next to the la la fin. I still can't remember what that's called. All right. Now we're going to have to add a little water to these. Okay. And here we go again. Tap, bitty, tap, tap, bitty, tap, bitty, tap, tap. Now, if you want to put a cover over this, you're welcome to do it. If it makes you feel better. If it makes you feel good, it's okay to do it, but I don't find it necessary. I'm just going to tapity tap until, oh, you can see there's air inside it because all those layers are pretty much holding anything in because they're layers and that's, they're strong and they must be women. So anyway, here we go. Do, 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 do. And we're going to take a little break, and I'm going to get this felted, and I'll be back. See you in a few. All right. Hello. We're back. So here's my guy, and he's soft felted. You can see it's not just a bunch of loose fibers laying around being wet now, causing trouble and loitering. It's an actual soft felted thing. So, now we get to show the world what we do to get these muscles. All right? All right, so you're going to take your fish and you're going to fold it in half. Just plop. Long way, short way, it doesn't matter. And you're going to roll it together. You don't have to have a washboard, although I love my washboard, I must tell you. Or you could use felting stone which oh maybe I'll get a felting stone out and you guys can see how lovely they are because they really do make the process go faster. Here's the right one that is there we go. Here's a felting stone. There it is. My invention, my tool, love them, use them all the time. So this way you could do this if you want. Ah, da, da, da. Just ah oh, Yes, I'm just, oh, 
this is so wonderful it's so wonderful but you know to be honest with you at this point i'm just going to use my hands just going to use my hands to get in here and you can feel the wall changing i'm put applying pressure down i am being strong oh, see see how it's curved that's because i have compacted the fibers on this side so now i need to fold it the other way and roll it pushing 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 the whole time pushing okay now it's more even now i can do it this way now remember we still have that pattern inside and because it is packing foam it is actually absorbing some of this energy that we're at putting trying to put into our fiber it's working against us it's working for us in some ways but in some ways it's stopping us from felting this item is as firmly and as hard as we would like to felt it all right but we're getting there see this now I'm gonna actually take the tail and I'm gonna just rub the tail on the body because I'll let you in on a little secret about felting when you're felting wool nothing felts wool better than wool if you've had plastic on here be sliding around and you'd be maybe having a good old time but it's not felting as well as if you were rubbing wool on wool okay so now ooh, look at that she's looking pretty I say she because she's pink and purple and I like that so okay so now I'm, I can feel my pattern is kind of all balled up in her face here. Come on, mooshy back, mooshy back. There we go. All right, see? Now, I'm going to decide where my mouth is going to be. Here's her eyes. Her lovely eyes, too. Okay, so I like a fish with a with a mouth that kind of goes, mmm, mmm. Boop, 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 boop. Like that. Boop, boop, boop. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So here and I'm only gonna cut about half an inch oh my goodness my mouth I have a mouth okay so oh, and I pushed my pattern all the way back so now I got to retrieve my pattern but you can do that just stick your fingers in there the deal is if you make a big hole you can't make it necessarily smaller if you make a small hole you can always make it bigger oh, and there's my pattern so funky okay now that there's no pattern inside it we can really give it what for I'm gonna roll my sleeves up because I hate wet sleeves okay and you say why aren't you dipping that in more water well we kind of have plenty of soap and water on it now and I'm just gonna keep rolling it back and forth here's another secret about felting the direction you rub is the direction it compacts or shrinks so I'm going, I'm doing the long way, so now it's going to be getting thinner. If you don't want it thinner, don't rub it this way. But I like a nice, long, skinny fish. If I wanted a great big round fish, I'd probably cut my pattern differently. But this is more of a bullet-shaped fish. Okay. And, whoop, get your pen back. And if you find places, things sticking together you don't want stuck together, you can pry them apart a little bit. Like that tail's getting a little bit. Ooh, it's got more like a, like those molly fish. I like molly fish. I got a daughter named Molly. She's not a fish though. Okay, she's a woman. A woman groon. All right, now here we go. One thing I like to do is look at the up at the light, open it up, and look at the light. And if I see any light place, that means I have a hole. There's no holes in my fish. I have a hole-free fish. All right, now I'm gonna rinse this baby and I'll be back. All right, hello again. So I've got my I've got my fish all rinsed out. Only oh, looks very sad and sorry, but not for long. Or she, sorry, I already said it was a she. Um, so it doesn't have a lot of character at this point, but I pull on it a little bit here. And you can still, even though it's rinsed, I rinsed it in warm water. I haven't stopped it from felting at this point. I'm going to cut off this little bit of a tip here on the lip because 
And you see I've got these great professional scissors. I think they're kindergarten from the kindergarten class. <sighs> and that's what I'm saying. You don't have to go out and spend all kinds of money on equipment for stuff. Just get some fiber and some soap and water and have some fun. All right. So now I've got my fish. I'm going to give it a little bit of a smaller back end, I think. And it's got a pointy front. And then it's got a nice arched back. I kind of like the way that looks. What do you guys think? All right. And now, I forgot to bring my bags over here. So, we get to see me walk around. All right. So, if you have... Okay, here we go. I lied. You're going to need more equipment. Grocery bags. I won't show the name on there. Just some old grocery bags, clean, try not to have too much meat juice or anything on them. All right, so I've squeezed this out, blotted it, so that it's yeah, relatively dry, so it's not going to drip and be all obnoxious and run, have water run up your arm. So you're going to open your face up, and these things are not super delicate. I mean, you don't want to give them a, a nice rip across his head. You can tear him open, but... If you're relatively easy with him, they're pretty sturdy. Now I'm just using an old, again, from a kindergarten class, an old discarded paintbrush. I like it because it gives me a little bit of a grip. And if I stick my fingers in there, I, my fingers just tend to pull the plastic right back out. I'm going to open his mouth up and I'm just going to shove this in. There we go. Okay, there's one bag. I think he's a two bag fish. This other one. I'll start with the back end of the bag. Just feed a little bit in. You could even use a chopstick, I guess, for this if you had one. But, you know, a pencil with the easy eraser in. A wooden spoon. Use the handle end. I'm just pointing out the obvious so they don't have quiet. Air. Oh, his head's disappearing back in there. Okay. But just shove that in there. Oh, that's the boring part. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. And I'm just packing it in. There. Now, and you're going to actually pack it in. You pull a little bit of it forward so it can support the head. There. And so there you have your fish. If you don't like the way the fins look, I kind of like the way the fins look on him though. Kind of looks like a like a uh, beta with his little fins. So I got him up too high. There. I'm looking at him. I should be showing him to you. There he is from all sides. Oh, this is a very small tank. Oh my god. Okay, so that's it. Your felted fish. And I've got some others that I have to finish, and I can show you how to finish them. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, well, I'm back sooner rather than later. I like to put a string on these, just stitch a string or a thread. You can use monofilament. Monofilament line works. Whoops, whatever you want to do. But just a needle and thread and put it somewhere it's not going to pull right back through. And this isn't necessarily how you're going to display it, but this is what I like to do after I get them stuffed and then I hang them up to dry. Okay, so